What's up guys, I'm back for some World at War, and today we're switching up from Team Deathmatch, and we're going for some Domination here. Now, Domination is a very good game to have to get a lot of kills. I believe it lasts a, it lasts a good amount of time. It lasts about 8-9 minutes, unless you dominate them throughout the entire game. Then it lasts about 6 or 7. <sighs> oh, excuse me. But my setup is the Deadly Pancake with... Bandolier, stopping power, and steady aim as my perks. And as you can see, we have a full squad here. My squad consists of my friends I mostly play with. My friends Emberly, you beast. My friend Bad Company, you also beast. And my friend Seabob, you semi beast. Now we decide, we've been, during this whole game, we decided to go for objective modes just because on Team Deathmatch, we were just dominating teams left and right unless they were, um, Using, you know, their skill P40s and hide by the sandbags, which one team was using on, what's that map called? Corrosion. They were just on the second floor hiding behind, you know, their sandbags, their walls, and they were shooting us as we tried to get up there. And it was really annoying, so we decided to pretty much, I whipped up my MP40 and pretty much we still lost just because we, by the time I switched over the MP40, all, well, all whole squad switched over the MP40, it was too late. And this guy's a camping asshole. I mean, the game's been going on for a minute and a half, and you're just going to sit there. That's camping. And here I make the mistake of going after for a revenge kill. Don't do it. It's just going to get you shot in the ass like that. But on Asylum, if you come up here, you pretty much got B or the war flag, or the first war flag that comes up here covered. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm tired. Hold up. Let me slap myself awake. There we go. Now, right here, I'm telling my friend Emberly, like, you know, the grab B, I got you covered from this position, but little did I know there's a get. He's right back up there on there. I don't know how he spawned up there. I don't know why he spawned up there. Probably because we're taking A. Well, we took A, my bad. And pretty much for this entire game, we just see how long we could take on all, have all three flags and how many times we could have it during the game. Now right here I'm doing what the same guy dude, I'm watching the flag, except it's a little bit more camp like, and what do you know? A guy walks right into me, I get his MP40. Now I see we're taking now I see they're taking Charlie, and if all of you don't know this, when a flag's blinking, if a red if a green flag's blinking, it means somebody's taking that flag on domination. If a green if a red flag is blinking, it means your teammates taking it so you can try to give them cover. Some tips with the Deadly Pancake, um, it's probably my favorite LMG, it's probably the third best, um, behind the MG, behind the Browning and the MG42, but the things that this has over the MG and the Browning, it, uh, it doesn't take forever to reload, I think out between the three, it's the, it's definitely the fastest reload, it takes like, a f like a minute, a second and a half to two seconds, while the other ones would take like four to five seconds to reload without sleight of hand, and and plus it's got good power and it doesn't have too fast of a fire rate like the MG42 so you can conserve your ammo and if you have a bipod on it it's a, it, it will run out of ammo it's pro, it's it, well, it doesn't have the lowest clip the lowest on machine gun clip is the FG's clip which the FG just has a pathetic clip size it still is a good gun don't get me wrong That guy gets drop shot for his trouble. Should be using your. Don't be using your trench gun, man. Even it was dominating World War One. This ain't World War One. This is World War Two. Bust out your MP40s, snipe people. And for all of you that like say you all hate drop shotting like that, here's the thing. I know, I know it's a sort of a cheap tactic. It, well, it's not really a cheap tactic. It's a. I recommend trying to learn to draw a shot. Like just going to like a private match with your friends. Just like all of you whipped out. Your Thompsons or some type of automatic gun or hell I can even you can even drop shot of a rifle it's possible and I recommend trying to learn the drop shot it can save you I know people get frustrated I've been drop shot many times before I know how frustrating it can be so don't get me wrong I all know what you go through but the thing is, do you all want to just, like, stay and take the bullets head on? Or do you want to, like, you know, try dodge the bullets by going straight to prone and then you can, you know, bust out his kneecaps? Because everybody knows when, they, 
When playing Call of Duty, you don't aim for the head, you just aim for the kneecaps and the shins. It works, trust me. But for a sign for, for this map, this is pro this is a great map in my opinion. It's a good map. Now I recommend having the A and B flag instead of the C flag. Why is this? Because A cannot be um, artillery strike. You see, C flag has a hole in it, so it can't be artillery strike. And when you have B, you also have that clearance of the um, windows at A to watch over B. But C does have a few advantages, like you can get to this balcony right here, which is also a good spot. You can get to those windows to the side. And you can get to that little underground little little glory hole that I was in earlier. Yeah, that's pretty much how you pre Oh, and also A flag has the advantage of going to this of that window, which is also really good. And also there's also one little sort of like glory hole. As I screw up my buttons right there. Kind of a little, little it's there. It's sort of like a little glow gla Damn, I can't talk. It's sort of like a little glory hole for what's it the A flag A flag and I'll show that later in the video when it comes to cuz I showed it to my friend M Burley and Burley if you watch this man I don't know I don't think you could your internet's been screwing with you lately but if you are man I want to have your babies in a non gay way I would love you in a non gay way <laughs> yeah I'm awkward Shoot me over there I, I just got game bang right there and I'm pretty sure the spots coming up in a second yeah yep I just throw a grenade at B just to keep them off B for a second and I come over here to try to see it this is one spot but this spots a lot better if you hop on that little box you crouch here you if you have a sniper rifle it's a really good people can hardly see you through this um and here and Burl here and Burley, I'm like, and Burley, come get in the spot. You have a clear advantage point at B, just like that glory hole there. That glory hole for A is a really good watch. B, the glory hole for C is a really good place. It's, although I have to admit, the C is better just because the only thing that's showing is your head and you can clip a little bit. I gotta admit that. But with this one, it also has the advantage of seeing the gas on the box as well. On this, on the other one, you can. And here's the point I'm like, tell and M. Burley. Just hop on these boxes and then you can look through the window and he's having a little trouble. So I'm like, come do that. Good boy. And I believe he starts to get shot at. Yep. But he gets the job done. He He's beast with that stick, Mac Thompson. I prefer the round drum, but hey, whatever works for him. I can't complain once he once he gets kills. I believe here I start to go on a rampage for domination. And here is how you want to cap a flag. I try to find the vantage point like here and was not the grenade. I probably could have tossed that back, but I get out of the way and doing the fountain probably take most of the shrapnel that the grenade will blow out. And I throw taboom gas to try to get aimed on the top floor and I just sit here. I knew that grenade wasn't going to get me as soon as I get by. I knew I had time. And then I start to come down here starting to cause they had to get they had to get at least B to start to at least start to make a comeback. So I just decided to cut off the people that are coming here to B, and you see they're all going for. Re I don't know why they're going for B or revenge kills. If they're going for B, they're trying to play the eject. If they're going for revenge kills, they're being idiots. Ten kill streak. The match is going. Oh uh, yeah, I still got about a minute to talk left. So that's pretty much. And uh, here we're just trying to take C, just to try to get this match over and over with. We all know we've won, and that was an unnecessary drop shot. So he here's a good spot to like watch window. You can also jump through that window by going on the little beam. And here I know the taken B, so I try to see if I can see him through there. But it really doesn't matter. We're up by it was at like 185 to 109, so we're winning by almost like 76 points. Well, now it's 77, but we got this. We got this in the bag. We're just taking the flags just so we can end it quicker, so that way we can get into a next game. But I'm pretty much going to leave out here. I pretty much said all I've said. So you all have a nice day and happy early Halloween.